And tonight on our Great American Panel, he's a former Deputy Assistant Secretary of State, Fox News contributor, USA Today columnist. Beckel is in the house. He's a nationally syndicated radio talk show host on the Salem Radio Network, partner at the law firm Hewitt Walensky. Hugh Hewitt is back with us. She, a wonderful actress who's best known for her role in Dallas as a mean person, <laughs> currently the star of the docudrama uh, One a Minute. Morgan Brittany is back. Good to see you guys. Thank Thanks for being you. here. Thanks a lot. Anthony Weiner. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> well, I, here we go again. You know, the, well, apparently they, they've granted him his leave now. That's the latest news. Yeah, that's what I heard. But you know what? I, I think we should have a new contract with America, okay? Mm -hmm. A new contract with America with a morals clause in it. Mm -hmm. That anybody that goes to Washington to represent the American people should say, okay, I'm signing a morals clause. I'm not going to do anything to embarrass this country. I'm not going to do anything to put this country in danger. Mm -hmm. Don't you think we need to do that? I have moral clauses in my contract. I, I have, have them you if have I do. You have them in yours? Oh, you bet. Sit down and you're out you of bet. there. You don't get a choice. Then Beckel's you're gotten out. an exemption. You're just, out. Just, just I had an exemption. <laughs> it's the only way I could make it in the deal. You know, I had callers on my radio show today furious with me because I'm like, what rehab is he going into? Well, yeah. he's not going into rehab, but first of all, let me also say if that moral clause is an idea, then David Vitter, the senator from Louisiana, well, should have okay. been there. I agree. I agree. I agree with but, you. But, you know, Wiener ought to just, just one answer this. Go. Just go, go, go. Get out of here. We don't need this right now. He's got, I mean, he lied to his colleagues. It is embarrassing the Democrats. He should be gone. But you can't get rid of him. I mean, you can't just Bob, fire I do him. Not, I'm not with you on the Vitter thing. I think Senator Vitter made his explanation. He, he stood before the voters. There was not this, this train wreck of a person. I want to ask you, though, President Obama today said if he were Wiener, he would resign. Right. What about Charlie Rangel? What about Maxine Waters? Exactly. They have done things at least as illegal as Anthony Weiner has done. Does the president think they ought to resign as well? well do he, you think they got, ought to resign? I, no, I don't think Charlie Rangel. Charlie Rangel I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe that they could have proved yet in a court of law that he was guilty of anything. Do you think he's a crook? I think he's a no, crook. No, I don't think he's a crook. Oh, yeah. but, I, but I also think about this, about Charlie. The reason he's had so much support is because he's had a deep well of support in that house for a long time. This guy, Weiner, has got, it's like a little baby's tub in the backyard. That's how deep is it. I know, but there shouldn't be a double standard here. I mean, I mean, all the rules should apply. If you're raising kids today, what, what does a parent tell their kids? What are they looking at? You're rewarding bad behavior. You're getting away with it. How do you raise your kids anymore? Uh, you know, I'm the wrong person to be having this discussion, so I'll just pass. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh, let me ask you, because you work with uh, alcoholics and drugs. Yeah, you really right. spend a lot of time. I've been around you on your weekends, and you're, you're taken away to help people. And so people called me today, and they said uh, that I was being unfair. Because, I, first of all, I don't believe that if you're a sexaholic, you go to sex therapy or group therapy with other people that are in the same condition. Because it's like if you're addicted to crack, you're not sitting next to your drug. Yeah, right. it, you know, it's right. one of the, it's, you know, it's one, there's, there was an attempt to start a 12-step program called Sex, uh, Sexual yeah. Addicts Anonymous. And it, it doesn't work for exactly that reason. I think this guy certainly has got a problem. There's no question about is that. It, is it but sexting? I mean, what, what it, is it's it narcissism? Who, who know, it is an addiction, but it's an addiction that is something that you can cure, unlike alcoholism, which you can't cure. I mean, you, you're going to have it for the rest of your life. He could get out from one of these. People have. This guy just seems, but a big part of this is these guys seem to think they're above the law. But uh, he, he, I know, exactly. He, he, Senator Allen was on, George Allen, on the program today, and he said something's not been right about Anthony Weiner for a long time, and it's his anger. Right, he has displayed right. a vindictive, passionate, consuming anger, which I don't think was ever justified by the stuff that he talked about, and I think it goes to an underlying set of issues which I hope he recovers from but in the meantime he doesn't need to be in the Congress. No and the thing, that, the thing that bothers me Sean is that when he will come out and lie to the American people what else is he going to lie about? Oh this is a wonderful bill everybody we should back this. Well, are you he, lying he or are you telling the truth? Point. You know? I mean, the guy, you it's know, crazy. I never felt that he had a, a lot of intellectual honesty. Uh, you even agree with that? Uh, yeah I don't, I just, I'll tell you I think the guy ought to just get out of the way. We have enough problems right now. Yeah, you want to get back does. to scaring old people. I That's exactly it. right. And scaring you, hopefully. But he's profoundly popular on the left. He's popular on the left because now he's not popular at all. On the moveon.org and the web, they're still rallying around. Well, he needs to go. He's still there. Uh, they're to rallying go. around. They should We're going to take a break. They found nothing in the Sarah Palin e emails, Bob. Oh. I'm sure they I, that didn't it. surprise me. No. Right, she loves her kids. Yeah, she, lo and she, yeah, she <laughs> wow. loves her children. And then all of a sudden, what do those 30 reporters fly all the I way know, to Alaska I know. For? Just let them keep doing it. Let them keep doing it. They're digging I think we should get Wiener's emails and Elliot Spitzer's emails and... Uh, well, the FBI will. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they can do it now. And Bob Beckel's emails. You know, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Okay, we got to take a break. More with our great, great American <laughs> panel after the break. 
And we continue with our great American panel. Uh, so they sent all these people up to uh, Alaska, and the New York Times and the Washington Post tried to enlist the help and support of uh, people. Join in the hunt against right, Governor Palin. Right, right. And what do we discover? She's a great mother. She's a great well, mother, and she's funny, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I know. I, you, you, it's like I, I, I want to see Nancy Pelosi's emails. Oh, I want to okay. see Harry Reid's no, emails. Really, I want to see really Obama's emails on his BlackBerry. Look, you know, one of the things, the people who are really upset about this, Sarah Palin, first of all, nobody's been more investigated than she has, so why, why would they expect to find something new and different? But more than that, it's the Republicans, candidates for president who are suffering because she takes the oxygen out of the room. She went up to New Hampshire, remember, with her caravan so when, when, uh, when uh, uh, Romney announces, and all of a sudden she comes in there and the press all shows up. True. Her. I mean, she, she is great they, for the she, Republican Party. Bob is. is always so wrong. I love coming here. No, Two months is. ago, he told us the mother Muslim Brotherhood wasn't the problem in Egypt. It's and not. He told us that Gaddafi was going to be gone in a week. So I'm glad I'm back. To <laughs> no, I've <laughs> extended the <laughs> kids a problem for the Republicans. Right. Long may okay. she be a problem for the Republicans. I, 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 think Gaddafi, I extended the Gaddafi thing a couple of weeks. But, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the Muslim Brotherhood is not going to do anything in, in oh, very small. I don't know. Uh, oh, we'll see. Isn't there something now become pathological against her to the point where every Every time it boomerangs back against her, I think it's because they're threatened by. Of her. course, of course, and 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 Americans, many, many, many Americans well, love her and identify with her. She's a not, real, not she's well. a real and person. And I will take her tax cutting, regulation cutting, bureaucracy cutting, uh, balanced budgets, uh, fiscal responsibility, yep. uh, and strong. Na and Have, not you to Have you seen her polls lately? Have you seen her polls lately? She's even got high you names. Obama's on polls lately? Yes, on the I have. Regrettably, I have. The thing about Governor Palin is she lives inside the head of the liberal mainstream media, and she <laughs> exactly. buzzes in there all day, every exactly. day, and she drives them to distraction. And they get off their game. They always By the way, make it. And they followed her all the way from Washington, all the way up the East Coast, complaining. And, she, yep. and what I know, they weren't we doing was covering Republicans. She, she was absolutely wrong about this. She right. is taking the air out of the rest of these Republicans, but which is a good thing because, you know, those people are all studying understudies for the new movie coming out, a remake of The Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. And all these Republicans are trying out for the Munchkins uh, role. Oh, uh, they're stop. Running for a oh, stop. Oh, stop. Great week. He's got a month. Um, okay, just no, check. All right, let's look. She's, Rodney's she's, out in front in the, the new polls. Is he the front runner? Let me show you the Gallup poll. For just a minute here, you got uh, Romney at 24 percent. Governor Palin comes in second. She's not even announcing. 16. Right. There you have uh, Herman Cain and Ron Paul. Uh, then we've got an op uh, research uh, court poll. There you go. 24, 20, 12, 10. Uh, Rudy Giuliani, who apparently He's is making overtures there. that he might get in uh, as well, makes yep. it more interesting. He, 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 Rudy doesn't have a chance. I mean, he, 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 he get through the Republican electorate in, in, in primary in New Hampshire or in Iowa. Listen, I got to be honest. I don't liberal. know. I, I have not made up my mind. I am. I think I am the quintessential undecided conservative. I'm a reg registered conservative. I've not made up my mind, but I'm very happy with the slate of candidates. Right. And I think Rudy would add to it. Well, Sean, let me just say this about having been with front runners before. Mitt Romney's got a pretty long road here to hold. To stay as a front runner in this crowd, and not a strong front runner, let's face it, this is not at 24% a strong front runner. But I will give him this he learned a lot from the last time he ran. And he's doing things a lot differently this time and better and smarter. He's kept under the radar. And, he's, and cause, look, he's going to get attacked. He was, a, you know, it's going to happen now. He's out there. But he's, I think he's played it pretty smart. I don't think he can win. He may win the Republican nomination. This, is, gonna, gonna no, this is going to be a one issue election, I guarantee you. And it's going to be the economy, unemployment, people's pocketbooks, their house values. That's what it's going to be. I guarantee you it's going to be the Republican candidate. It's also going to be a referendum on Obama. But Absolutely. it, it, and, it and is. And Rod said just the opposite. And you said a very good thing, Sean. It's a deep field. Huntsman, Palenti, if Rick Perry gets any strong, Michelle oh. Bachman had a great, oh. great debate tonight. Right. Governor Romney had a great debate tonight. It's a very good field, we despite what we hear from people. the Are you, are you seriously telling people. me this is a strong field? It yes. is. It is. It oh, is. It is. No, it is. Oh, please. And two presidents came please. out of the 80 field that well, say, well, the, the issue is going to be whoever, whoever gets this Republican nomination better be prepared because they are going to become an issue very quickly. Yeah. And okay. we're going to go at them with you everything we've got. You want to know why? Because you can't run on Obama's horrific I'm just telling you, we're going to go after him with everything. Everything right. we have. I'm going well, to bet you. And we'll have a lot of resources to do it. You name with the price or the charity, and I am telling you, Obama one term president. All right, fine. How much you want to bet? How much? 5000 bucks. Done. Okay. Woohoo! We're in. <laughs> it's going to play forever. All right, we're going to be yes. on that rail right. forever. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that is all the time we have left this evening, but let not your heart be troubled. The guys, thanks for being with us. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And you too, Bob. Thank thanks, you. Bob. Uh, Good to see Greta you. Greta Van Susteren takes over to go on the record live.